Now Medina's getting started. Quick snap off the top, big float. Flying through the flats without a problem. And he'll throw a big tail high whip. Reverses that around on the inside corner. So picking up right where he left off. Still jamming a couple of points as his wave wow. is completely flat. Pressure immediately put on Yago Dora. Have so many completions. This is really the reason he got into this round by using that aerial weapon. Meet Medina. Setting up the right. Here comes his wind up. Backhand oh. reverse ends up incomplete. Once you're in the water, you know, the adrenaline takes over and uh, you, know, you forget about everything. Now looking at Gabriel Medina. Quickly whipping that backside hack. Second vertical. Picks the board back up and hits it off the coping again. Driving hard into the fourth vertical hack. Back in 2017. Kai, how'd you like this approach from Medina? Well, what I like about Medina is he's just so top to bottom when he gets on a roll, you know? He's just like no double pump at the bottom. And really, I mean, to link four blow tails is really difficult to do. Because, you know, the, the wave and the timing is, I think what makes these guys so good is their timing. Yeah. Like they know when to slow their bottom turn up or to speed it up. And that's, that's something that you can only get by doing like riding hundreds and hundreds of waves. Absolutely. And, and you know what? Uh, obviously Medina's bread and butter is his aerial game, but... Setting up a backhand air upside down and inverted is Yago Dora. Remember, Dora, one win over Medina, the 1-0 at the moment, just their second one-on-one. -on -one. Goes to those backhand hooks and it's just as dead, deadly. Yago Dora, tail high whip, wow. full rotation that into the crazy. flats. He's got unbelievable style. Once he's in the air, he is so smooth. It's almost like he's doing a turn on the face. His arms are perfect. Yeah. Looks like he's just not even having his heart rate go up. Kai, walk us through this. Well, you know what? Just watching it, he's so good if you watch him free surfing at landing oh. all these that I think in the past he's like maybe gone caught up in the heat and not been able to do it. But when you see he just lets go and he goes with his natural instinct, he just, like you said, he looks like he's just doing a top turn. Wow. You know, with the airs uh, pushing the limits like you talked about, maybe double rotations being not too far off where we'll start getting those with consistency. We'll get back to that because Medina's about to throw another one up. Inverted, tail high <laughs> to the sky and somehow pulls <laughs> off a landing. Yeah, but it was tweaked out and radical as well. Like incremental changes, but you just watch him going down the line and how he just loads up. And when he springs off, you know, he's pulling the tail around him. So that was a pretty small section for Gabe. You know, yeah. imagine if he had a huge section. No, absolutely. And you, you watch the body. The body's already rotating before he leaves the face of the wave. That's why these guys are getting that spin really quickly. Landed on top. Maybe didn't quite get the rotation that he's looking for there. But, um, you know, as Medina does, he finds a way to make those kind of things. Two perfect heats in cloud rig Fiji in the title race when he was just in his second year on tour so looking for a big start into finals day after some amazing heats the last couple of days you know that's what you want you want the heat lead you want priority going into that back part just to shut it all down gabriel medina still have plenty of time in his heat there's oh. the full rotation unbelievable full rope from gabriel medina to put pressure on yago dora oh, let's have a look uh, you know all set up work right here and you know once he widens that stance he is going to take to the air, Air Medina. And uh, I mean, this kid is just, he, he's got such a high strike rate when it comes to it. Beautiful connection with the lip. Slides that front foot forward. You can just see him keeping an eye on the landing, loses sight of it then. From then on, it's all feel. But Medina, he's such a beast when it comes to pulling those maneuvers off. He needs those scores. So that's what makes him so difficult to beat. Yago Dora also got this wave on the backhand. Yeah, a couple of nice turns there for Yago. Just trying to crank it up, trying to find some sort of rhythm. Medina wants all the records and wants to stay on top of the world for a long time. I'm sure of it, Joe. And uh, just uh, back to uh, what we were going through just before having Kyle Lenny here. A fun matchup between Mikey and Jordy Smith just getting underway. As we'll see, Yago Dora, former free surf, return professional competitor, will try to get upside down on that rotation. Little disconnected, still chasing a 5-4-4 for Medina's lead. Medina up again. First turn, solid. Fits it in vertically. Close out, hack complete for Gabriel. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, if those aerials aren't working, then he's got this that he can go to. I mean, he's uh, 
he's got such a, a complete package when it comes to competing at a high level. You know, there's no, nothing, no stone left unturned when it comes to Medina's performances. I mean, you know, you look at the, the a couple of waves ago that he got a backside, a couple of backside snaps, 5.43. So I'm not sure whether this is going to go into his top two. Not, you know, doing those things at a high level, well, are you going to get the score? So the judges are expecting a certain level from Gabriel Medina every time he paddles out. And that's the, pre the pressure of that... Uh, Jeep leader's jersey. Because you look at that maneuver, and it comes with a, a lot of style, oh, yeah. obviously, a lot of flair. Oh, boy, that's the style master, isn't he? And it looks so incredible in, in cover shots and movies. And with the jersey on, Dora's got a ramp. There's that tail high reverse. Pulled a couple off yesterday in a close decision against Joan Duru. So plenty of room to move score-wise. This is Yago Dora. All pace to set up the ramp. More of a quicker spin on that rotation. He'll sink on the landing his way before the 5.2. He's only looking for a 5.67, Joe. And now checking out a right, Yago steps off. His father, Leandro Dora, helped coach Adriano de Souza to a world title in 2015. Medina trying to avoid a, a knockout here early from Yago Dora. Yago got a little bit of space. He's going to use that left to try to find a different part of the peak. But Dean is all over him. He knows how to shut down heats. Obviously with two world titles under his belt. And it uh, looks like we are all but done and dusted. Boys show each other respect. And Medina moves through to the quarterfinals. What a solid battle there. Gabriel Medina into the quarterfinals of the Quicksilver Pro Gold Cup.